Today we're going to be testing the new Hellblade 2 on the OLED Steam Deck. I'm starting to get a little bit concerned with these new AAA titles and their ability to run on this device. So we're going to find out. This is kind of the real test of Unreal Engine 5 on the OLED Steam Deck. And if we're going to really be able to actually play coming into the end of 2024, and we don't know when we're going to get a Steam Deck 2. It's probably not coming as soon as we would like. Hellblade 2 is kind of the first game that is pushing the boundaries of Unreal Engine 5 and really awesome graphics. This game is really beautiful. I give you this moment. The beauty of the game kind of seems like the point of the game. As always, I'm gonna be going from low, medium, high settings. On all of these settings, we're gonna definitely have FSR 3 on. And in reality, that's kind of our only beacon of hope. If FSR 3 can just push us over the edge so that we can handle these games until the Steam Deck 2 comes out. Quick little side note, the only thing I'm thinking about the entire time I'm playing this game is, oh my gosh, I cannot wait for The Witcher 4, or whatever they're gonna call it, that they're building with this engine, and it's gonna look like this, but an open world, and it's just, it's just gonna be so good. I'm so excited for the future of games, and Hellblade 2 is absolutely, and should be recognized as a game that really elevates the rest of the world in gaming, and sets the bar of like, this is the standard. All right, that's all I've got. We're gonna jump into this, check out all the settings and how the game's performing. We're gonna start things off nice and easy, low settings, FSR 3 set to performance at 800p. We're gonna keep the Steam Deck at 90 hertz, but you know, that's probably some wishful thinking. And as we can see, we're just almost hitting 30 frames per second, but let's give the game a second to kind of kick in gear and figure its life out and see if we could at least play at 30p, like right there. Now we're getting it. Honestly, this is the settings that I mostly play at. I actually was on like a quick hour long flight the other day and I played this game on the Steam Deck for about an hour. And although it's not consistently staying at the 30 frames per second, it almost stays at a solid 30 at low FSR 3 performance, which is not bad. I'm actually pretty happy that I'm able to play this brand new Unreal Engine 5 game on the Steam Deck. But now we're gonna kick it into ultra performance and see if we can get a little bit more, which it absolutely is, not even a little bit. We're getting like 10 frames per second more just by kicking into ultra performance but that comes at a massive cost to the way that it looks, which almost just feels wrong to do enemies. to this game. A huge point of this game is the way that it looks, but also the story is incredible and you're still getting that experience if you just can't play it any other way. But I don't know. I don't think I'd ever play anything in ultra performance because every time I do, it just looks so bad. Does anybody play FSR 3 Ultra Performance? Let me know in the comments. So now we're going to go a little bit backwards and go to yeah, balanced here. mode and see if we can maybe play sometimes at low FSR 3 balanced 800p. And it's trying so hard. Like it really wants to be at 30 frames per second, but it keeps dipping into the mid 20s. But like right here, we're staying almost at 30 the whole time on balanced. Mind you, this is a pretty simple area and now there's no characters next to me. But what if we frame limit to 30 frames per second on the Steam Deck? Some games, this makes a huge difference. So I'm actually really hoping that's the case for us here today. And maybe it is. It's just sitting there at 29, 30, 31. It's a lot more consistent now staying at that, well, 28, 29, 30. But those 28 to 30 area, unless you're looking at that frames per second counter, 
you're really not noticing those two frames dipping from 28 to 30. It's absolutely feels the same in gameplay. So this is looking pretty positive. Low, locked at 30 hertz, FSR 3 balanced at 800p. This definitely, you could play it for sure. But now we're going to crank it to quality. Just over there. This is where I'm starting to wonder if it's going to be able to hang for much longer. But what do you know? Look at that. It's still, it, it basically looked like nothing changed. We're still just hanging out at the high 20s. Well, now see 26. Definitely She's lost alive. about a frame or two going to quality over balanced. But if you like really wanted, you know, that quality life and you're willing to jeopardize a couple frames per second and you're not married to the idea of at least 30 frames per second, you could do that for sure. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'll stay at the balanced or performance because getting that 30 frames per second or at least very close to um, I prefer. Guys, so we broke 3,000 subscribers. That's incredible. But um, there's like over 10,000 of you who keep coming back and watching, but you're not subscribing. I've got a whole list of all these videos that I'm gonna be pumping out here soon. So hit that subscribe button. All right, now it's time to start a little bit more of a challenging endeavor. We're gonna switch it to medium. We're gonna just stay at 30 hertz locked on the Steam Deck for the rest of this. But this is medium, FSR3 quality, 800p, and right away, we are in the low 20s she to at the seen. highest, like 25 frames per second. But now we're just chilling at 20, 19. It is not all. loving <laughs> medium at FSR3 she quality. <laughs> It really doesn't like this, guys. She lost them. This, I just can't imagine anybody would want to play a game at 20 frames, 19 frames per second. But, uh, I mean, it's it's on and it's running. That's something, right? That's impressive. Is anybody impressed? Are you impressed? I don't know. I think I am. The little Steam Deck that can, or could, or does. All right. Now we're going to do medium best. at balanced. Faster FSR 3 balanced. It's a little better. 25, 26. At least it's not like 19, 20. Now we're getting mid 20s to a little bit of the higher 20s. This is like what I said in, you know, the last of uh, the other one where it's like if you really wanted the quality i could see somebody you know as long as it's above 24 frames per second maybe they justify it and they'd play it like this but on this screen and the quality and everything i just don't think we're gonna get anything above low settings here your father was he the leader here all right, now we're gonna switch it to performance. Let's yes. see if we can get anything a little bit more playable at medium here. FSR three performance locked at 30 Hertz. But yeah, this is still just not giving us enough. We just need like a little bit more oomph, but we don't have it with the old Steam Deck. I'm sure like the Rogue Ally and the Legion Go would actually just be crushing this. Well, look at that. It just jumped to 30 on this huge landscape shot that we had. So sometimes I almost think like you gotta give it, you know, 30 seconds to get its life figured out. But yeah, we're definitely staying at the mid 20s here at medium FSR three performance. And then when we kick into ultra performance, sometimes it's best now it's like, why even be at medium close. settings? The, it just destroys the image quality. We are getting 30 frames per second now. But man, I would really love to know what people think in the comments. Like, is FSR 3 ultra performance at a higher detail level, like medium, worth it? Does anybody do that? Because I never do this. Because it just looks terrible, I think. But let me know. Maybe this is just me? I would think this would be universal thought, but maybe not. Now we're gonna jump into some battles. Which, you know, 
honestly, the battles mechanics are incredibly difficult in this game. It kind of just feels like I'm smashing buttons and I can just kill the guys. So not having like 60 frames per second and everything perfect, it doesn't seem like a big deal. I never feel like the low frames per second are affecting my ability to kill the bad guys. But yeah, this high FSR 3 ultra performance. Again, this ultra performance just destroys the graphics. So let's change this to balanced and then go back to low. Locked at 30 hertz during battle. See already, it looks much better. There we go. Well, let's give it a second. Hopefully this goes back closer to 30 frames per second here in a second, but it might not. So it looks like battles are a little intensive and it has a hard time. But we're at the mid 20s to high 20s. It did dip down to like 24 frames per second, but now that it's been a little bit, we are definitely staying above the 25 to high 20s. I really would have loved to see closer to 30 frames per second here at low balance. But if I'm being honest with you, the way that I've actually been playing it most of the time, as long as I'm connected to Wi-Fi, is on GeForce Now. Because the graphics look so good when you're set all maxed out. Plus, you can go a little bit higher than 800p, which I understand the Steam Deck's actual screen is 800p, but I've noticed that the graphics are even that much better if you can bump up the resolution the even beyond what your screen is. Be careful. But yeah, this the looks great. Can't be trusted. And there's barely any notice of the it, ping being kind of slow, but that's because I'm just over Wi-Fi. If I would plug in wired, that would be no problem at all. But the whole point of the Steam Deck is a little bit more portability when I'm around the house. So this is like a real case scenario of what it's like playing the game over GeForce Now. Everything maxed out. This is the highest graphics you can do other than I do still have FSR 3 set to quality. But yeah, it looks awesome. GeForce Now is freaking just so good. Now let's turn off FSR 3 and just go on TSR, keep it at 100% scale, no dynamic resolution, just straight up what it's supposed to be. We're still getting 75 frames per second from the GeForce Now machine that's being streamed to me at 60 frames per second because this is still not a native app. This is just running the web browser version of GeForce Now. Even though they did give us that cool little quick easy install, which I have linked right here, how to use that and get it on your Steam Deck. But now I'm starting to wonder if I should try to figure out a way to install like the Android version of GeForce Now so that I could unlock that 90 frames per second because even this game is playing, you know, at almost 80 frames per second, and with FSR 3 on, it was way over 100. 